Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Today we have a quick look at the upcoming Nike LeBron 13 in the Balance colorway. Personally, this is my favorite colorway of the LeBron 13. A lot of people are saying because it's uh, close to a Dub Nation colorway, this this is no, nowhere near close to a Dub Nation colorway. It might be blue, but there's no gold or yellow or anything. It's all, it's all different shades of orange. So what it actually is, is a throwback color to the old school Cavs jerseys. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get up close and personal with them. So here we go, full on look. This again is my favorite colorway of this particular shoe. Uh, the reason being is because they actually made the shank plate the same exact color as the midsole. So it blends in really nicely. The other colorways have a different colored shank than the rest of the midsole and makes the shoe look kind of like a high heel in my opinion. But these ones look super clean. I love them. And I absolutely love that they have splatter print all over the midsole as well. That's just a a little thing that always gets me every single time. Not too much to talk about with this colorway, it's literally just all blue. You do have a white outsole here made up of solid rubber, so if you were interested in playing in a pair of 13s, LeBron 13s that is, and you did not want to play in a pair that had translucent rubber, then this might be that shoe that you're gonna be like, oh, now I'll try these guys out. The only downside with that is that these are gonna be limited. Why? I don't know, but of course, the best colorways are always gonna be the hardest to get. They're gonna be available starting Cyber Monday, only at Nike.com and EastBay.com. Those are the only two places where you'll be able to grab a pair. But back to the kicks, something I think is interesting is that both shoes have different color oranges in different places. So you can see the dark pull tab versus the light pull tab versus the light L and the dark J. Same thing with the fly wire. You got that dark fly wire versus the light, dark splatter, light splatter, light swoosh, dark swoosh. I think it's interesting. It gives it that two-tone look that it's pretty unique, but it doesn't look like you're wearing two different shoes at all, which is something that I don't like whatsoever. So having them look similar, but be a little bit different is okay in my book. My favorite feature on the shoe is actually on the tongue right there. You can see the basketball. I think that's super sick. And of course they got it on both pairs. Quick look at the logos. Again, you can see the different color shades of orange. Interesting, but cool at the same time. And then the insoles are like that as well. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you're interested in these guys, as far as performance is concerned, link is gonna be to the video right over here in the LeBron 13 performance review. I personally really like the shoe. Definitely will put it in my top 10 at the end of the year. And if you like this colorway and you wanted to grab a pair, again, only available on nike.com and eastbay.com as far as sizing i personally think that they fit true to size so that's what i would go with wide footers i don't know this thing's gonna bother your foot just saying so once again thank you guys for tuning in and until next time guys have a good one